Hey everyone, this is Mwesuga Mugwa Bosco, the Edisha Wisdom Center of Bugesera, that is Karumuna. As usual, uh, I take you through science, so we are used to each other, I'm your science teacher as well. So uh, we are again uh, going to look at uh, activities right from uh, the time we picked. So uh, last time, yes, we looked at uh, uh, looking at uh, the system of blood circulation, where we found that uh, there are majorly uh, four major, uh, three major organs, okay, which is uh, the heart, the blood vessels, and the blood, uh, which are the major three organs of the circulatory system. And then uh, from there, uh, we looked at uh, an overview of, of the heart and the blood vessels, even the blood. So this time specifically, you want to look at uh, how the heart works. Uh, yes, since we have the background of looking at the parts of the heart, the, the blood devices, so now it's very clear for us as we move on. So let us check on today's work. But before that, remember, yes, anytime you get any problem, any query, uh, get us on the contacts. It's quite clear. Yes, always, anytime you get us, you check on these contacts, we can help you. Uh, check on, uh, you can you also uh, put your query on your, our emails. And then, uh, yes, check on the website. Once you drop there, okay, we can easily uh, reach you and help you uh, in time. We are there for you. Yes, so uh, this time, specifically, as we said, we are looking at, uh, yes, how the heart works. Uh, this is going to be actually uh, easy pick for us because we have the background of the parts of the heart, uh, looking at the four chambers of the heart, uh, we looked at, uh, yes, we looked at uh, the major blood vessels, okay, major which are joined to the heart, leading to blood circulation around the body. Yes, so this is going to help us to move properly. So uh, this then gives us a move where then we can simply look at the, how the heart works, picking from uh, the major parts, helping us how blood moves around the body. So a uh, circulation of blood in the heart uh, is supported, yes, by four main blood vessels. And these are simply, yes, the vena cava, okay, and which is the major vein in the body. We say that this principally carries uh, blood uh, without oxygen, uh, yes, from all parts of the body back to the heart, which is the inferior vena cava from lower part, parts, and then the superior vena cava from the upper parts of the body back to the heart. Yes, uh, this carries majorly blood that is, that is deoxygenated blood. And then uh, there we move to the next blood vessel, which is the pulmonary artery. Yes, this simply carries blood from the heart, yes, to the lungs. This is the blood still without oxygen, because blood without oxygen enters the heart along the vena cava, and then uh, Yes, it has to be sent to the, to the lungs, yes, to be oxygenated, to drop carbon dioxide and then pick oxygen or get or be oxygenated. So this is actually helped by the use of pulmonary artery. So blood goes to lungs along the pulmonary artery. And then within the lungs, blood, yes, as we said, it will be oxygenated. Yes, it will drop carbon dioxide and pick oxygen. Um, Yes, so uh, we, as we move on, simply by the help of the hemoglobin, we are going to look at that. And then uh, when, uh, from the lungs, okay, blood has to come back to the heart, and that will move along pulmonary vein. This vein simply will carry blood with oxygen, which is oxygenated blood. Remember, uh, veins carry the oxygenated blood, blood without oxygen. But then we come to the pulmonary vein, it will carry blood with oxygen. And then uh, we shall also have uh, iota, which is the major artery. Yes, this, uh, once blood comes back, okay, to the heart, that's from the lungs back to the heart, through the pulmonary vein, it will be actually as it's pushed down to the, uh, to the right ventricle, okay? Yes, so it will also then be pumped along iota to all body parts. Yes, this blood has oxygen. It's simply oxygenated blood. Uh, so these four uh, blood vessels, they are going to help us to simply look at how the heart works, okay? 
with the help of the four chambers of the heart, as simply last time we said that we have the right auricle, have the left auricle, and then you have uh, the right ventricle and the left ventricle. Yes, so those parts, or those four chambers of the heart with the four blood vessels, they're going to help us to look at simply uh, how, blood, how the heart works. Let's say, yes, uh, how blood circulates within the heart. So uh, this gives us where looking at how the heart works. Uh, vena cava receives blood with less oxygen, simply called deoxygenated blood, uh, from all parts of the body, let's say, to the heart. Let's say from the upper part and then from lower parts of the body back to the heart. Yes, blood is then pushed, okay, down from the right upper auricle, yes, to the left, to the, to the right ventricle. Yes, and then to the lungs, I think, and then, yes, and then to the lungs. Meaning from the, from the, from the left, left ventricle, yes, sorry, from the right ventricle, blood will be pushed to the lungs. That's uh, uh, via pulmonary, pulmonary artery. And then we said, blood go to the lungs to get oxygen and raise carbon dioxide. We will be asked this most of the time. Why does blood go to lungs? Majorly, blood go to lungs for two uh, purposes. Uh, yes, uh, to get oxygen, or one can say to be oxygenated, and then to release carbon dioxide. Uh, yes. Uh, so here, simply, yes, from the lungs, blood with oxygen, that is simply oxygenated blood, yes, is then carried back to the heart uh, through the pulmonary vein, yes, to be pumped to all parts, yes, of the body. Uh, and then, yes, simply from the pulmonary vein, blood, as we say, that blood is pumped back, yes, to the, to the heart. It's received uh, by, the right, by the right auricle. And then from the right auricle, it will be pushed down to the right ventricle. From the right ventricle, then blood will be pushed, yes, uh, to other parts of the body through iota. Through iota, this is now blood with oxygen. Uh, this blood with oxygen it will be sent to different parts of the body, transporting food nutrients, transporting uh, oxygen, transporting uh, all different materials of the body and which are carrying the body. We talk to them like uh, the hormones, uh, talk of the salts, uh, yes, water. Those are all carried different parts of the body. Yes, remember uh, the heart has valves to prevent backflow of blood, okay, in the heart. And then the heart is still separated into two sides. Yes, but the part simply called uh, the septum. And this is the helps to avoid uh, blood with oxygen, mixing blood without oxygen. So uh, the left part of the heart is made up of thick walls, okay? Uh, this is simply to give resistance to high blood pressure. Yes, uh, which will help to pump blood to longer distance. They can simply ask us uh, why at the left side of the heart or oh, why, uh, why are the left ventricles? Yes, how why do they have thick muscles? Oh, uh, why are they thick? So the left ventricle simply is thicker than the right ventricle because, yes, uh, they pump blood to longer distances. So this helps them to develop pressure, okay, to develop resistance for high pressure. Simply you can say because they pump blood to longer distance or they pump blood under high pressure. That's why they have uh, thicker walls. Yes, so uh, having looked at uh, simply uh, uh, an idea of how the heart works, okay, as we say that we'll be looking at uh, the uh, blood entering the heart, let's say, uh, blood, or blood, let's say blood uh, from other parts of the body, from the upper part, lower part, enters the heart uh, through uh, the vena cover, okay, and then it will join, that's the, uh, the right atrium. From the right atrium, blood will be pushed down to the right ventricle, from where it's then pumped to the lungs along the pulmonary artery. 
for this, we said blood goes to lungs to get oxygen simply at that and then drop carbon dioxide. So we say that blood from the lungs will simply get back, okay, uh, to the heart uh, along the pulmonary vein. Simply this blood contains oxygen, so it is received by the left atrium. So the left atrium, it will be pushed down to the left ventricle. From left ventricle, where uh, these ventricles have got a thick muscles, thick walls, which help develop resistance to high pressure. So blood on left on the left side will be having high pressure. Yes, so it will be pumped to longer distances through iota to different parts of the body, to the uh, different organs like uh, the kidney, the liver, going to the pa upper parts of the body, the brain, all parts of the body uh, to transport different food. Uh, different materials within the body. Yes, so uh, still give, looking at this in a, a very clear way, we look at again back parts of the body, of, sorry, parts of the heart. So uh, looking at these parts of the heart, we can still divide into two parts. Looking at the internal parts and the external parts. So uh, for the internal, for uh, let us looking at these parts which are external. The hour, looking at the heart physically, yes, you can see. As we see that there are four parts of major parts of the heart, or which you can simply call the chambers of the heart. So when you can ask you, what are the four chambers of the heart? We, yes, we simply said that the four chambers of the heart are from the peak of our palm, or the, the back part of the hand, can help you to identify this. Where well, we say that uh, we can see uh, the right atrium, okay, on your left side, okay, left upper side becomes uh, right atrium, and then left lower side becomes the right ventricle. Then coming this side to the uh, to the yes to, to your right upper arm side, okay, this left right your right upper side becomes the primary primary vein. Oh, sorry, sorry, it becomes the atrium because the atrium so this is the left atrium and then down okay on your left side sorry your right side becomes right ventricle so your right side gives right your right side gives left side of the heart that's why you can have uh, on the left side you can on the right side you can have the left atrium and then left ventricle yes and then from here we can simply have uh, the other blood vessels, like uh, talk about pulmonary artery, okay, which carries blood from the heart to the lungs. This is blood without oxygen, and then from there, blood getting back, okay, it will get back to the heart along the pulmonary vein. This is blood with oxygen. So again, blood without with oxygen will now move down to the left ventricle. From left ventricle, it will be pushed, okay, uh, to different parts of the body. Uh, that's a long iota, uh, which is the blood with oxygen. So, and then we can simply look at uh, uh, the parts of the heart, which are internal parts, because they can draw for in exams and simply ask you, name these parts of the heart, uh, they can give you internal or external. So looking at the internal parts of the human heart, okay, you can see this. Uh, last time we looked at this, and we said uh, that simply uh, this upper part uh, they are the blood vessels, and then simply the four rooms here, these are the chambers of the heart. So uh, let's begin with the four rooms or the chambers of the heart, simply also to the internal structure of the heart. So this is simply the right atrium. On your left side becomes right atrium. So we say the left, your left upper side, yes? Okay, now becomes the right atrium. And then your left lower side becomes right ventricle. And we come to this side here, uh, on our right side, okay, so the upper, yes, part on your right side will be the left atrium. And then the lower chamber, not so, yes, surely, on, on your right side will become the left ventricle. So we see that uh, simply to understand this, we said that uh, the heart has got four chambers. So these four chambers, we have the upper chambers have got one name. They are simply called atrium, okay? One is atrium, and when there are many, is atria. 
So you can simply refer them to atria or auricles. And then the lower chambers are simply referred to ventricles. Okay? So that's why you have the right ventricle and left ventricle. And then you have the right auricle and the left auricle. Or right atrium and then the left atrium. So going to other parts like the, the blood vessels, you can see we have the vena cava, which carries blood without oxygen from all body parts back to the heart. And then uh, we have another blood vessel, which is the pulmonary artery, that will carry blood without oxygen to the lungs to get oxygen and drop carbon dioxide. So from the lungs, blood will get back, okay, along a blood vessel, which is simply referred to pulmonary vein. This carries blood with oxygen, it brings back to the heart. And then from there, blood is to leave the heart, which has got, got oxygen, will leave the heart through the iota, which is the major artery. So this will take blood to different parts of the body. Okay, so this gives us a clear understanding of, 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 of uh, uh, how the heart works, looking at the internal parts of the heart and the external parts of the heart. Yes, so simply looking at this, you can see, uh, remember, doctors are able to listen to the flow of blood, okay, or heartbeat using an instrument uh, simply called a stethoscope. This can help us to measure, okay? Yes, uh, or to listen to the flow of blood, okay, or the heartbeat. Yes, so to know the heartbeat simply can ask you which instrument uh, the doctor used to know the heartbeat, yeah. Uh, simply the beating of the organs, like uh, talk about the lungs, talk about the kidneys, talk about the, yes, even the, and the back to the heart. Simply we use an instrument called stethoscope, okay? And then uh, for measuring blood pressure, we can use an instrument called uh, a sphygmomanometer. Simply, yes, for blood pressure. And then, yes, this brings us to our activity. Having, yes, having looked at different uh, areas, uh, looking at the parts of the heart, how the heart works, uh, now we are able to answer different questions. So we asked number one here, yes, list the two upper chambers of the heart. So we have looked at this, yes, where we have uh, uh, the, yes, two upper chambers, which is the right auricle and the left auricle. Yes, so they can also ask you to name the lower chambers of the heart. Uh, which are the left ventricle and the right ventricle. And then when we move on, we are asked number two, yes, which blood vessel leads blood from the body to the heart? Okay, yes, so from our discussion, you can simply get this, you can also add this. So from the body, from all parts of the body back to the heart, which blood vessel is simply that? So yes, you can ask that. And then uh, number three, we are asked to answer, yes, uh, which part of the heart pumps blood to the lungs? Yes, uh, simple, yes, check on this from our discussion. Yes, you can also answer this. From the heart to the lungs, which blood vessel, okay? Uh, which part of the heart will pump blood? Yes, and then uh, as we move to the next number, that's number four, we asked the left side or the left ventricle, we are saying, the left ventricle wall. Oh, yes, we know that left ventricles have thicker walls. That's why you ask number four. Why is left, why is left ventricle, okay, wall thicker than the right ventricle wall? Yeah, we discussed about this. Yeah, so we can still answer this, because this is a very common question. Why is the left ventricle wall thicker than the right ventricle wall? Uh, and then uh, number five, we look at... Uh, Yes, we asked, uh, why does blood flow to the lungs before it is supplied the rest of the body parts? Yes, so once blood gets back to the heart, okay, from the body parts, has to go first to the lungs. This blood has no oxygen. So we asked, why does blood has to go to lungs before it is supplied to different parts, okay? Yes, uh, of the body. So you can answer this. Then uh, we have next number, number six. We can answer number six together. Uh, looking at this, uh, we are given here a number. We are asked uh, that, uh, uh, yes, use the diagram below to answer questions that follow. 
So looking at this diagram here, yes, uh, we can pick this. You can simply see we are given, okay? Okay, look at which structure is this? Simply the structure of the heart, the human heart. Yes, there, we said last time that we have got uh, different uh, parts of the heart and it's very easy to easily pick this, to understand this, okay? We said simply divide just, okay? your palm and simply have that. So remember, that we can help us to easily know this about this part. Because you're looking at this, we have got four rooms, okay? Which are the four chambers. We have named this as number one, two, three, and then four. Yes. So these four parts are, are the chambers of the heart. So simply to have understanding, okay? Let us bring our trick and then we see. Okay, as usual. So we said that for our trick here, uh, just simply do a simple kind of activity, okay? Simply just use your palm, as we said last time, yes? Turn your palm, okay? Yes, just turn your palm. The back part of your palm can simply help you, okay? So when you see this, it brings a shape of the heart. Do you see? So this shape of the heart, yes, it's a trick which can help us to simply remember the path of the heart. Okay, looking at the chambers, divide this. Okay, this gives us two sides. Okay, your right side and the left side. And remember, on your right side is going to be the left side of the heart. And then on your left is going to become the right side of the heart. Good. Then again divide to get the upper and lower chambers. Just as simple as this. Do you see? So the upper part are simply called auricles and lower parts are simply called ventricles. Remember, your left side is now right side of the heart. So since upper they are auricles, we can say number one can be right auricle, okay? Or right atrium. And then number two, Simply because it's up and the auricles or atria, so we can simply say left auricle or left atrium. As simple as that. Then moving down the lower chambers, we simply say that lower chambers are referred to as ventricles. And remember, our left side is now right side of the heart. So we can simply now have number three here, okay, as our right ventricle, okay? Then coming to number four, which is on our right side. And we said on your right side, it is the left side of the heart, okay? And then here, the lower chambers are simply referred to ventricles. So number four becomes simply as left ventricle. Yes, so from this peak, you can simply go to the chart, the diagram, and answer. But remember, these ones are blood vessels, okay? We said this finger can represent vena cava, as simple as that. And then the next finger can simply represent pulmonary artery, taking blood to the lungs, okay? And then the third finger will represent the iota, which will take all blood from, let's say blood from the heart to all parts of the body, okay? Then the last finger is representing the pulmonary vein, which carries blood from lungs back to the heart. That's blood with oxygen. So remember, blood from, all, from the lungs getting back to the heart, okay, it's received by uh, the left atrium. And then we move down to the left ventricle, where it will be pushed, okay, under high pressure along iota to all parts of the body. So from here, let us go to our diagram and answer, okay? Don't forget this trick. Remember, we said, yes, this becomes right auricle, left auricle. Number three, yes, here, right ventricle, and then left ventricle. So we can now move to the diagram and answer. From our trick, 
just from our trick of the heart, okay? This is very clear now. So the trick of the heart, always use your palm, okay? Get your turn, get your palm, and then check the backer part of the left hand, okay? It is going to help to remember. So moving here, yes, from using our demonstration, we can simply now look at this, that, this, these questions. So number one, we are asked, name the blood vessels marked, okay, W, yes, or W. Let us check here. We can easily answer for this part W here, uh, checking on our diagram. Which blood vessel is this? Yes. So remember, when you're going to answer this, always go to our trick. Yes, turn your palm, use the left side of the hand. Yes. Oh, wow. When you bring here, you can see the, our fourth finger is pointing to part W. So, and we said this is simply a pulmonary vein. So we can simply answer this. Okay? Yes. Okay? Uh, and then, moving next, we are asked part X. So, you see, part W we have answered. Now we go to part X. So again, get back to your hand. Yes, this is a simple trick we are using always to answer parts of the heart. Yes, we get back here. So we asked part X. Check on the diagram for part X. Do you see? So part Z is matching with the first finger. And then uh, the next blood vessel here, part X, is matching the second finger on our palm, or our hand. So simply we say the second finger is representing the pulmonary artery. Yes, so we can get back here and answer pulmonary artery. Okay. Pulmonary artery. Uh, and remember, we said this carries blood without oxygen to the heart, uh, from the heart to the lungs. And then now, uh, uh, yes, we have next blood vessel. We are asked part Y. Yes, so for part Y, get back. Yeah, these are simply representing blood vessels, our fingers. So part Y, check to the diagram. So yes, as we said, Z matching with the finger one, X, finger two, Y, finger three. Yes, so part Y, we said, this simply uh, referred to iota, carrying blood from the heart to all body parts. Okay? So our finger three always will be iota. So we can now write that. Uh, finger three simply, iota. Okay? Okay? Uh, we can simply... Okay? Then, getting to last part of the blood vessels, how part said, yes, so get back again. Your hand is very useful. It can do for a lot of things. So for this time, it's representing the heart. We said the fingers are representing the blood vessels, so you can easily see. Yes, now we get to the last part, part Z. So check part Z, always match, yes, with the first finger. We are seeing, we said, use your left hand, and then, okay, you turn the back part of the palm. Always hand like this. So, part, the first finger, which is the part Z, second finger, the second blood vessel, that is part X, third finger, the third blood vessel, which is part Y, and the fourth finger with the part W, which is, yes, our fourth blood vessel. Remember, for reminder, the first finger represents vena cava, the second finger represents uh, pulmonary artery, the third finger represents iota. Then the last finger, okay, which is the finger four we are taking, because using four fingers, representing pulmonary vein. Yes. So we are now able to answer our last part. So what do you think will be now? Yes, part Z. Check this. What do we say? This first finger representing. So you can now answer this on your own. Okay? 
So just turn your palm, just your lonely yet on your palm, uh, turn your hand, check the back part of the hand of your hand. Remember the first finger, okay, represents vena cava. The second represents uh, pulmonary artery. The third finger represents the major artery, which is the iota. And the fourth finger will be representing pulmonary vein. So you are using only four fingers to represent the four blood vessels. So we are able now to answer this. And then, yeah, this gives us a move to the next, num next part. So you asked part B, name the chambers marked one, two, three, and four. Yes, so still turn, yes, your turn, your get, you turn your hand, as we said. We said you just name them, okay, the rooms, okay? N number them, one, two, three, up to four. Yes, as we said, that uh, the upper chambers are simply auricles, and lower chambers are simply ventricles, yes? And on your left is the right. On your right, Okay, it will be the left. So just here, we can simply write here. Okay, this is this is our left side. Okay, so we can simply write here, right. Okay. Uh huh. And then on our right side, yes, we can simply write left. Okay. Yeah. So this becomes easy for us because the upper chambers, these two, are simply called auricles, okay, or atria. One is atrium. And then the lower chambers are simply referred to ventricles. So we can now simply take, okay, you can divide simply this to get above answering, okay, okay, and then get the chambers as we've been saying on the heart. You see? So now, yes, upper chambers are auricles, so this will be right auricle. You see that? As we get here, to the left side, upper chambers are auricles. So you can say lefty auricle. Yes, getting down. The downer chambers are ventricles. Okay? So this is lefty ventricle. So we can simply come to number three. Right here, so you can simply say right ventricle. Yes, so from this diagram here, uh, you are asked to get here to answer the parts that are following. Next number, we are asked to answer, to name the, the chambers. So what's chamber? Number one, two, three, and four. Yes, ask that. Uh, and then when you move to the next part, we have part C. We are asked which type of blood does blood vessel Y carry? Yes, we looked at two types of blood, okay? Yes, uh, and then uh, we can simply see which one is carried by blood vessel Y. We said you have blood that has oxygen, which we refer to oxygenated blood, okay? And any blood without oxygen, which is simply referred to as deoxygenated blood. Yes, so those are the two types of blood. Simply, we can see which one is carried by blood vessel Y. And then uh, uh, this uh, brings us, yes, to a uh, key understanding of uh, part, about, about the heart, how the heart works, the uh, parts of the heart, blood vessels of the heart. Just using your palm, your left hand side helps you to understand the four blood vessels, the four chambers of the heart, the parts of the heart, and how blood uh, yes, moves or how the heart works. So this brings us to the end of our lesson today. And please don't always forget uh, the trick. Yes, coming to our lesson, I want to remind you, my dear pupils, yes, as you get back, let's say, uh, to school, always remember your trick of naming parts of the heart. Just, okay, remember, yes, the palm, left hand side, gives you the shape of the heart, Yes, the fingers for the blood vessels, the lower part for the blood, for the chambers. This, is, gives, this gives you a way of understanding properly, simply about parts of the heart. 
and how the heart works. So today we come to the end of the lesson. And uh, yes, don't forget to keep uh, watching BTN TV, uh, to follow us uh, on, on uh, YouTube. You'll be getting the videos. Yes, uh, website, Check on Wisdom Center website. You'll be getting this different lessons, uh, questions for revision. Yes, you can easily uh, be with us and keep yourself with uh, simple and clear information about lessons. Thank you for watching.